welcome to the Galapagos Boys. This has to be one of the most unique and interesting places in all of the world to sail to. Sure, getting in is not easy as it is with most countries, but it's well worth the cost and all the formalities. So why do you ask? Well, it's just a ridiculously cool spot on planet Earth, and it's not what you'd expect. Yes, you come here for the wildlife, and the friendly animals are everywhere, but it is the five-star beaches, the world-class surfing, the restaurants and nightclubs that truly surprise you. This place has it all. Everywhere you go, you're amazed by what you see, and in the month-long visit, we barely even scratched the surface. So with that said, we'll start our story at the port of entry, San Cristobal. All right, we're in San Cristobal. What are you guys looking at? All the sea lions. Land for the first time in first time in six days. Made it. Nice job. What? Here, guys. Come on, Reese. You can look at him close up. Just don't touch it. You can look at him. Gracias. Can you guys say gracias? Welcome to the Galapagos. What are we looking at? Giant crab. Oh, that is a big crab. You know you're in the Galapagos when. I'm not really sure how to barricade the uh, very bottom step. We did a good job uh, here, but I think we're just gonna have to live with some friendly visitors. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Arf. Who named him? Hail. Arf. Arf. I guess that's why. Arf. Arf. So San Cristobal is the administrative port of the, of the Galapagos. It's on the eastern side of the chain and you clear in here. And there's a beautiful beach on the other side with sea lions and iguanas and uh, great surfing. Hey guys, is this, is this just like every other beach you've ever been to? No. What's different about it? Sea lions. What? <laughs> Going gently. Yeah. Whoa! Reese, he jumped over you. Hey, Reese. Remember, just float. They'll come to you. Don't go up to them. Wow. This is the uh, beautiful downtown area of the port in San Cristobal. It's actually really nice. You think Galapagos, you think wild animals and no city and no town, but this is this is the first town you have to go to. No, you can't have one. Anyway, the Galapagos just are uh, continue to surprise. Continue to amaze. Do you like the Galapagos? Yeah. Good beaches, great town. That's the only thing that makes it kind of look kind of strange. Well, because I think they're practicing. When they're yeah. when they're really doing the real show, then he'll put on his real Captain America like costume. No. <laughs> Pierce, don't go too close. Pierce, Pierce, get away, buddy. It's gonna kill you. Too close. Reese, don't go down there, buddy. Look at all the sea lions. Port of San Cristobal is actually kind of big and they've got a lot of boats and unfortunately one of them had a gasoline fire when we were there. So uh, we saw this bit of excitement from Archer. Uh, it broke free from its mooring and started drifting throughout the harbor. So the locals went out with grappling hooks and were able to hook it and pulled onto the beach before it sank. Uh, so they, they saved a little bit of a disaster for the environment, but uh, it was still pretty exciting, just the same. This looks like the whole town is over there on the main dock just watching this. They can't do anything. It's the craziest thing about it. So it looks like they were able to pull the boat over to the beach. The fire is basically out. Hopefully no one got hurt. After a couple of exciting days, we left San Cristobal to visit the main island, Santa Cruz. As a private yacht, you're restricted to visiting just five of the 20 or so islands, and you need an autografo and a zarpe each time you move your yacht. It's not the usual freedom we are used to, but for the protection of all the animals and the wildlife, it's just the way things are done. Welcome to Puerto Ayoro. 
As dinghies are prohibited, you have to take these water taxis, which uh, often hit your boat, but they're quite convenient, to be honest. Keeps everything off the dock, and uh, they're always ready for you to pick you up and take you back to shore. Buenos dias. We are back from the living dead. Oh my God, thank the Lord. Elizabeth has been seriously ill. Actually, all, everyone but Hale and I have been seriously ill. So it's been a couple of days laying low. And now we're getting April Fool's jokes all over the place. It is April Fool's Day. And we are in Puerto Ayoro, Santa Cruz, Galapagos. Reese, what are we going to see? Turtles, no. Tortoises. Tortoises, that's right. Right. Where are you going? <laughs> we, we got in the taxi to go to the Darwin Center and now we've been convinced to go somewhere better, right? Yes, that's Let's true. Let's see what happens. To see the real tortoises. Wild ones, wild tortoises. And there's a turtle crossing sign. It's kind of cool. Okay, we're here guys. We're going to this one. Rancho Permisias. Okay. Let's go see the shower. Come on, let's go look. This is exactly the spot where we were with Evan and Tim. This is where I got into the shower, guys. I don't know if you get into. Uh, I think I got in the bigger one. Who's going to get in one first? Oh, yeah, Pierce is in that one. Put your face on this side so we can get a good No, Reese, you gotta go, yeah, go, yeah, slide in that way. There you go. Now, remember, turtles kind of go like this, like. Yeah, there you go, with your hands like that. Yeah, perfect. Get your head out there. Oh my, no predators there. you go. We're all nice. How are you doing, Reese? Oh my god, you guys look awesome. But yeah, you look Get like, your arms up like you're, like like you're walking. Are you okay? Cool. Look at you. Here, she gonna stay Should in the turtle shell? Are you? I need a picture of you in the shell. I've already done a shell picture, Daddy. You're getting in there. We get in there. Last time we did this, guys, uh, Mr. Even was here, and our and our friend Tim, and Mom got in one, and we kind of blocked her from getting they out. She was stuck in the turtle. <laughs> and they all said they were gonna get in, and none of them got in. Yeah, <laughs> we did. We were the first. So one. this time, it's payback. Get in that shell. Sure. Not only are they gonna get in, I'm gonna like walk around in it. <laughs> okay, ready? Here we go. I'm walking around. Oh my god, it's heavy. <laughs> I'm walking around in the turtle shell. I don't know if we're supposed to do that. <laughs> Alright, wait, let me get a picture. Are you oh my god, you're gonna look. I'm eating grass. Reese, is the turtle shell cool? Can you believe how big? Pierce, Pierce can't even talk. Wow, bud. Look, it's a baby. They are coming this way. Okay, everyone sit, everyone sit here and let's see if we'll see where they go. They're coming right over here. Even the baby has wrinkles. <laughs> Tell me about this. What's going on right now? Is he a big one or a little one? Big, big. Bucketless moment for us just now, showing them the turtle shells. Yeah, yeah. And getting you in one finally. Yep. It took me 10 years. It's huge, yeah, he's oh alive. God, Why are we naming him Yoda? Because it looks like the deck of a sister. <laughs> <laughs> it sure does. This is definitely a Star Wars family. I see a really old tail that's got a lot of wrinkles. Cave. There should be a lava tunnel. Mom, look at the stalactites. I don't get how they call it a lava cave. So lava must have, so this cave must have been created by lava, right? Yep. Our 
our taxi driver was right, Rancho Primicias is a must-visit place when you come to the Galapagos. We did do this. Okay, go through one, actually get one of each your own and get some, you can go through, all of you can go through. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, break the wall. It is narrow. Even it's a good thing you're doing all that TRX. No kidding. Sure. No problem. All right. The tortoises were very cool, weren't they? I think the tortoises were the best. The best moment was when Pierce first spotted him and freaked out. That was very cool. And then he couldn't even get it out. Couldn't even talk. And then the second best moment was getting Seth in that shell. <laughs> Ten years of revenge. She's been thinking. <laughs> plotting. Plotting. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We uh, ten years ago, we wanted. To, we talked about wanting to bring our kids there one day, and we did. That's crazy. It doesn't, it seems like 10 years and it doesn't seem like 10 years. No, and then in some ways it seems a lot longer. I know, that's not, that's not about to say. A lot of sailors skip the Galapagos because you were forced to stay in just a few places, but we found the adventures were so great everywhere we went that we never felt the need to move. So join us next week for surfing, snorkeling, boat tours, and more. We're not even close to finishing this tour yet.